Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cask 529. I'm Brian. I'm Beth. And I'm Shauna. Tonight is an episode I've not been looking forward to. Uh, Shauna put me up to this bourbon barrel wine, and um, the pour seemed to have gotten a little heavy. I wanted, like, a taste. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Yep, so tonight we are doing a blind tasting of four different bourbon barrel cabs. One of them um, is from a winery in Northeast Ohio, Kasijik, um, Geneva, Ohio. And the other three are from um, California. And so tonight we're gonna try to um, pick out the Ohio um, wine to see if we can tell a difference. But we're also, you know, gonna taste and see because the other three are locally, um, we can get them locally here at our um, Kroger's and our um, liquor store. So we can see which ones we like. The only one I've had is the Ohio one out of these four. Um, Beth and Brian's not had any of them. Um, Beth, have you have ever had a bourbon barrel? Yes. Okay. Yes. I couldn't tell you the name of it because it's been a while, but yes, I have had okay. bourbon barrel wine before. And so the bourbon barrel wines, um, they're aged, uh, you know, just like any other cab, they're aged, but then they're finished in a bourbon barrel. And so then they pick up just a little hint of the bourbon, um, the caramel, the you know, the other smoky taste and stuff. It just makes the cabs bolder and more delicious. More delicious. I can't <laughs> wait. <clears throat> All right. So we will start with A. So I, oh, I just have one question before mm -hmm. we start. So you're saying that the wine is made traditionally and then at the end they put it in a bourbon barrel. Correct. Just to finish it. So just like a finished bourbon. Okay. Um, these are finished wines. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. It's going to be great. Okay. Wine. It is very tasty. It must not have been the same thing in my glass. <laughs> you know, I, I was telling Brian the other night, and he thinks um, I've an off from my rocker, but um, since he's been making me drink bourbons neat on these shows, I told him that even my dry wines taste sweet now. Mm -hmm. And, and he thinks I'm losing my mind, but I'm like, no, seriously. Yeah, the bourbon brings that out. In. I mean, realistically, it's not awful. <clears throat> it's not something I'd want to yep. sit down and just pour on purpose and drink. But. I I think, I mean, I drink cab, we, you and I drink yes. cabs all the, all time. the time. Oh, they do. Um, and I, I just love Don't a they, bourbon barrel cab because they're, it's just deeper. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, so in addition to picking out the Ohio one, if we can, um, I also would like us to, you know, see which mm -hmm. one's our favorites. That yeah. way we know wine nights, which one we want to. So drink. I actually almost tastes like cherry in that yeah oh it's you know what it reminds me of is a pinot actually a little bit i i, I can definitely see that yeah um because it's it's lighter yes yeah yep. all right ready to go to b oh sure am Now this one, I can, I can taste more of the oak from the barrels than I can on this one. That doesn't mean which region it came from, obviously, but. Right. So I don't know why, and maybe, maybe you're onto something with the whole bourbon thing, but <clears throat> I'm not even really getting a lot of oak. 
No. And I'm just looking at the alcohol percentages and all of these um, are 14 and a half percent with the exception of the one from Kasijic and it is 14.7. Um, so they're all relatively the same. I don't think this one has as full a body taste as this one does. I agree with that. I agree with that. This one is, I don't want to say watered down because it's not, no. it's no. not watered no, down. It's, it's just yeah. a lot. There's just, just not, a flat, there's no yeah, flat. it's not as bold as that. Mm -hmm. As we're um, tasting just price range, um, so the one from Josh, um, Josh Reserve, um, or Joseph Carr made it, so that's good. Yeah. Has to be good, really Joseph good. Carr. Um, Is that your dad? No, it's Carr. <laughs> um, it's nineteen ninety nine a bottle. Um, the one from Kasijic is thirty. Um, the Augment is thirteen ninety nine. And the menage with toi is twelve ninety nine. <laughs> kind of show you have here. Uh, I know. Ready to do C? Okay. She never moves as fast on bourbon. <laughs> well, we're talking fourteen and a half percent alcohol compared to. <laughs> This one's definitely heavy, heavy oak. Yeah. Um, this one I can guarantee you Brian's going to say it leaves his tongue completely dry. Drier than the other two. Yeah. For sure. <clears throat> Still good. Yeah, oh yeah, it's very good. I, I can see what you're saying about them. I mean, not that we <laughs> we lick a lot of dust, but I I, I understand what you're yeah, saying yeah. by that. I guess when I smell it, I get like a closed up closet. <laughs> They all have kind of, to me, like a blackberry, like yeah, um, mm -hmm. along with the the oak and the. I was looking to pick up some some caramel, but I've not picked that up in any of them. I haven't tasted that in any of them yet. Mm -hmm. I said we're moving on. This one's lighter, like the first one. Hmm. Not nearly as oaky. C is definitely the the, the woodiest. Yeah, yeah um, I agree yeah. with that. <clears throat> Honestly, on my palate, I I'm, I don't know if I can pick out the Ohio. Um, on my non wine, non bourbon barrel wine cab palate. <laughs> um, I'm going to say that C is the Ohio wine only because A, B, and D are all so similar and C was clearly different than the other three. I'm going to say D is the Menage a Trois. Have you had, you haven't had that one, mm -hmm. you're just guessing that one? Mm -hmm. Well. So like we can go through them again on our own here. 
okay. decide which one's our favorite and then see if we can pick out for sure which one is <laughs> the Ohio one. She wants me to taste them all again. Well, if you don't want to and you oh, think you know. No, I'm not I think you must like A. I do like A. Because you keep going Because I come to back it. to it to wash the other stuff out of my mouth. <laughs> It's a little sweeter. I did it's forget little, to get you some water, didn't I? Sweeter. Yeah, I forgot to grab it before I sat down. <laughs> Not sure water would do it. <clears throat> I'm going to say B is the Ohio wine. I hope Tony isn't watching if I get it wrong. Yeah, because he, he told me you had to get it right. Yep. Well, Tony can rest assured because they're all good. And yep. we hear a lot of people saying, oh, we can't drink those Ohio wines. And and I'm sorry. I've had some really good Ohio wines. Yeah, <laughs> us too. Yeah. And Ohio wines are, I, I think it's hard to beat them, really. I mean, some, we've we've had a lot of Ohio I've had wine. A lot of bad ones, but I've had some good. Ones. Absolutely, we've had some bad Ohio wines pretty close to home here. Yeah. So B, and this does not indicate that it's bad at all. But B tastes most like a just a juice to me. Really. I'm not picking that up, but. Yeah. That's interesting. I, that I don't get any, like it's, I don't get any dryness. I don't get any burn. I, and it's not oaky to me. C is oaky. Not over the top, not overbearing. No, not overbearing. But I, it's definitely <laughs> there. You can tell. And I feel like if, if you're into this kind of a wine, you want that, I'm guessing. I mean, you want a certain amount of that in bourbon. Mm -hmm. You want to know that it barrel. came yeah. out of a... Yeah. This might be the Josh. This is the Ohio wine. This is the Augment and the Menage a Trois is what my guess would be. I'm still going to stick with C as being <clears throat> the Ohio wine. I don't know how you can put names, names on the rest of them. I, I just... Because you said you hadn't had them. I haven't. <clears throat> so that just tastes like a Josh? Tastes like a Josh. Is that what Josh you're saying? I don't even know if I can pick out a favorite. I can't. These two. These, <laughs> I think these two are my favorite. Well... These two. These two are my favorites, then this one, then that. So, I'm, so B and C are your favorites. B and C are my favorites. Then A and I'd B. I have a hard time picking between those two which one I wanted to drink. I have to drink them both. I, I think I could drink all of them. I would drink I'm if not I had. A fan of D. If not, I had to drink a glass, <laughs> which Bill almost poured his glasses, <laughs> it'd be B. Yeah. But I'm going to stick with C as the Ohio wine. <clears throat> okay, so just to be different, because I can't distinguish, um, I'm going to say A is the Ohio wine from Kasijic. Now, you really, sh like I said before the show, you should be able to pick that wine out. Well, you you would think, you would think but that. I if, you... if we go to that winery we always get a sparkling wine so that we can share a bottle like or I get the 534 or I get something else. I only get this one on special occasions because I know that I can't drink the whole bottle by myself while I'm there and you're not going to help me. Mm -mm. You're letting me down, bro. <laughs> I know. Okay, so. The, it's hard because you're comparing it to other like wines. Mm -hmm. That's that's a hard thing to do. Anyway. Well, it is, but people <coughs> say Ohio wines are so different, and they're they're not as at, good as California wine. At the end of the day, for me, some really bad it's California. really hard yes. to distinguish any of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Ohio, I'm going to say A. 
I'm Sam B. And I'm C. And you're C. Yeah. Okay, Bill, which one's Ohio? C. Good job. Tony, if you're watching, <laughs> Maury, if you're watching, I know my Kasiji wines. <laughs> I should. I've spent a lot of time there. Want me to give you the rundown? Yes. A was Menage a Oh my God. So B A is Augment. B. That's the one I got today, right? Yep. C was Kasiji. And B was Josh. And that's the one I like the least. So B was Augment. B was the one that I said was like a juice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this has been fun. It has been. No, I'm not saying that was my favorite. I'm just saying that was, I, I never picked a favorite because I liked them all, to be honest. Okay. I picked A as the Ohio one. Um, oh, okay. it, I guess <clears throat> B would be the easiest drinking glass for me. Yeah. I guess mm -hmm. if I was picking a different one or a, a favorite one for me, it would be the unique one because it stands out from the others. It does. So the Ohio wine for me would be my favorite, I guess. Yeah. I think the seed definitely picks up the bourbon barrel yes. more. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's more, there's more complexity, I guess, to that glass, in my opinion, yeah. than any of the other three. And so you never know how long they're finishing these in the bourbon barrels either. one of them actually i was reading before the show one of them was a couple months i think one of them actually said mm -hmm. cheers yep. cheers beth <laughs> i'm not and sure which one something i thought the ladies would pick up on was the fact that c tasted different and the other three coming from California tasted similar. And, uh, and they'd pick up on that. And that's, that's exactly what I was... The odd one out would be the Yeah, I mean, and, and we've been to Napa yeah, Valley a few yeah. times. And we've talked, we've been to wineries. Anytime we go somewhere, we go to a winery. You think it's sweet? And I think yeah, it was I think a, it's sweet an older too. gentleman in so Kentucky one time that told one he, us. Yeah, he wanted the most. You can go to Napa Valley and get good wine, but you'll never get a fabulous wine because they irrigate and everything is the same year after year after year after year. I don't know if that's where a pretty fabulous. In other regions, <laughs> you don't have all that. Right. And so the wetter it is, maybe the grape is weaker. The drier it is, it's more concentrated. So it's, it's weather-based from year to year in other well, regions. Wines are weather-based. Some wines will thrive better in the cold and That's windy. what I'm saying. Yeah. It's the great. That's why the Finger Lake region is so popular. Yeah. Yes. Because those lakes actually well, never freeze. In North Carolina. We went to a winery in North Carolina that two brothers had all this land and they didn't know what to do with it. They And the guy said, well, let's look into raising grapes, growing grapes. So they contacted a winery or distributor in New York and they agreed that they would grow this certain type of wine that was uh, that, that grew well in that area to make a wine that they wanted to make. They would buy it. So they planted their grapes and grew them. And four years later, they contacted the distributor and he said, oh, we found them somewhere else. So they had all these grapes. They said, well, what are we going to do? And one brother said, well, we, can, we have two choices. We can make jam like everybody else, or we can make wine. Mm -hmm. So they decided to make wine. So I'm going to give a quick history on Kasiji. Yep, good. And <clears throat> Sean and I have spent a lot of time here, and we actually consider the owners and the staff basically friends. Um, Kasiji Vineyards, and I don't know that it went under that name originally, but that area where we go used to be nothing but Concord grapes and they sold primarily everything to Welch's. Tony inherited this vineyard uh, and wanted to make wine. So he ripped out a lot of the Concord. I'm sure there's still some Concord there, but he ripped a lot of it out, put in different varieties, raised them, and started making wine. 
and we've talked to other people in the area over the years that we've been up there and really the Welch's thing was kind of dying off whether Welch's was was getting from other areas or obviously they still use great but <clears throat> I, I, I don't imagine Tony's the only guy in that area that's done that. I imagine there's other there's other wineries that mm -hmm. that were primarily Welch's way, yeah. Concord grapes at one time. But like she said earlier, we have heard people up there <clears throat> from even people from the area. You Ohio wines are just terrible. But well, this is an amazing wine. No, it is, and it, it compares really just oh. yeah. the same yeah. as these wines it from up, California. Yeah. To any of those, actually, yep. um, actually, I think it's better than one of the leading top wines in the country. Josh wine is very famous. And it was your work. It was and the one you like. So Josh least. was D. Josh was down here. Yeah. Is that the Heather? Yeah. Yep. Well, but, I probably like you, Beth, because if you look at my levels, yeah, I've had enough to taste that. Mm -hmm. but, Okay, so have you ever been to the Pine, what was it, Pine View? No, Pleasant View Winery down by I've Athens? Not. I've not. No. I stopped there this weekend when we went down to the Blues mm -hmm. Fest in Pomeroy. This place is amazing, and the kid that owns it is from Coshocton. Really? Yes. He's, he was a carpenter by trade, and he and his dad was um, his dad was in a marine in Fallujah mm -hmm. and lost a leg he worked well he came home worked in the steel mill and lost a leg and um, he the kid used to build cabinets and and bars and everything for big restaurants in Columbus and Pittsburgh and you know all around the area well in their travels they came across this farm that was for sale down in uh, near Athens and they bought it and they tore down a lot of the barns on there and reused the wood to build this little winery with a huge patio and they have they had one of the barns that they just took all the sides off of it and left the posts and the mm -hmm. the roof and made it like a party venue type thing and i'm telling you what it's one of the very few tiny vineyards that I've been to that had amazing wine. Cool. We'll have to check yeah. out. Yeah. We'll have to make a road trip. Yeah. Even though I said yeah. I wasn't going back to Athens after Clay graduated. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's to get a drink. Yeah, it's to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. So, yeah. so well, that, that is the worst drive from here to get down there. Though. I know, there's no easy way. It's you have only to go somewhere else and go. What, 30 miles? It doesn't, t I mean, it's like they put someone on a drunk monkey and said, <laughs> Carve out a road. <laughs> and that's what they did. That's what they did. Well, Beth, thank you for joining us tonight. Well, thank and you Bill, for the invite. thank you for doing our blind pours. Thanks for. Sorry, I got heavy handed there. Oh, I'm not sorry. But Beth are and you, I. Bill? I but are you? <laughs> We're going to finish these. Well, I know yeah. Beth and I will finish. <laughs> yeah. uh, not all four bottles, but yeah. we'll finish these and probably another glass or two. I'm going to have a drink. Yeah, and we'll have Brian have a little. Uh, Bourbon. Bill's gonna have a little bourbon. bourbon. Yeah. And, and we and we can't expect Bill to drink bourbon alone, so I'm sure I'll join him. That's right. That's right. So did you want to sign us off? Nope, that's all you but I did want to say to the viewers, since Brian got it right tonight, I am gonna give him a point on our wow. bourbon game. And Lord knows I need points. Yes, he does. <laughs> okay, so thanks for joining us, Beth. Thank you. Yes. Thanks for the great challenge. You're welcome. And until next time, have a great evening, everyone. Don't Thank forget you. to subscribe. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> yes. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Thanks.